I watched Challengers. It's very clear to me that this movie started with an idea that was going to be just one shot, which was two people playing tennis and everybody watching and everybody's heads going back and forth, but one person is not. And what a compelling image that is. And then they just built around that. This feels like a car commercials idea of like a really sexy sports movie. It's like when a, when a perfume or a scent gives you like a mini movie for their commercial with like Natalie Portman walking through a desert or whatever. Yeah. And you're like, you're supposed to fill in the details. It feels, it feels almost exactly like that. The movie is very little about Zendaya actually and about these two guys who should be having sex with each other. They don't even have the courage to like explore that. To be like, they, they like dance around it a little bit. They, they have the guys kiss, but by accident. That is sincere disappointment. Because I was watching that the the trailer and I was like, this sexy tennis sports movie is trying to Trojan horse an incredibly gay movie into uh, the mainstream discourse. Yeah. And so the fact that it's not is a huge bummer. Like, no, this is all about two guys and this girl who fucked up um, their friendship by yeah. sleeping with each one of them over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, to our younger listeners, life is long. That doesn't really screw up a friendship. No, they would get over it. 